Hey everyone, today I want to talk about how to get Gyro working in X Defiant. As of right now, Gyro isn't available natively in the game. So I'm going to show you how I got it working in the game and how you can get it working in the game as well. So the way that I got it working is I added the game to Steam so that I can use the Steam overlay to get Gyro working. You could also use a program called Rewaz to get it working. Uh, I'm assuming that it will work. I don't currently have Rewaz installed on my computer, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, I'm only going to go over the Steam side and how to get that working. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the game through the Ubisoft launcher. And then once you do that, you can open up Steam. And once you're in Steam, you head over to your library tab and then you go to this bottom left here and you click add a game. And then you're going to want to go to add a non Steam game. If you don't see the game listed here, you're going to have to hit browse and then find where the game's located and then add it through there. Once you do that, connect your controller, go to manage, and then go to controller layout. This is the layout that I have set up for the game. Uh, it's a completely keyboard and mouse uh, setup. Uh, since the game doesn't allow for um, mixed input, uh, so I went with keyboard and mouse uh, with gyro. I did add this to the community layouts, so if you want to give this configuration a try, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you can use that as a starting point and then just kind of tweak it to however you like it. Uh, Tech Eekster also has a configuration. Uh, his has Flickstick. Um, it's pretty good as well, so if you want to give that a try, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game because there's one more thing that you have to do to make sure that gyro is working. So just one second. All right, so now that I have the game launched, I went into the, uh, the practice zone mode. Um, the last thing you're going to want to do is make sure... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the last thing you want to do is go to settings and make sure that under gameplay and UI, it says gameplay input. Make sure that mouse and keyboard is selected. Since we're using a mouse and keyboard um, configuration, that's the only way that it's going to work. If you have it set to controller, you're going to get that up top there. It says you must use your selected gameplay input while in a match. So to avoid that, just go to gameplay and UI, go to gameplay input, and make sure mouse and keyboard is selected. And once that's selected, you're good to go. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, like I said, you're more than welcome to use the configuration that I uploaded. Uh, Tech Geekster's configuration is really good as well. So those are two solid starting points that you guys can use. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comment section. Or if you feel like there's something that I missed or that I could be doing better because I'm learning new things about this every day as well. So um, all feedback is appreciated. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next one.